guys, I'm back. And as you can see off to the side here, we have the painting from the last video. Um, I'll show you that when I'm done. I actually took a toothpick and spun it and ran it outwards and it made this cool pattern through it. Um, I probably ruined it for some of you. <laughs> um, in a way I kind of ruined it for myself, but in a way it kind of looks cool now. So, um, you guys be the judge. Uh, I'm going to drop some silicone in my paints real quick. And what we're going to do is a pour cup, just a regular flip cup, but I'm going to do all the colors singly. They're going to be layered between each layer of white. So we're going to do white color, white color, white color. Um, because I have so much paint in this cup, I've put two two drops of silicone, but everything else has one drop, as per my usual. So if anybody's wondering how much silicone I put in here, I don't know how many ounces um, I tend to use. It just depends. So we're going to try and pour this very carefully. Kind of layer it over top of the white. I mean, uh, over the color. So hopefully it's not touching any of the other colors. any of that blue touching any of the pink. That's good enough. Now I'll try and pour it in kind of slowly because I really don't want it sinking between the colors. And the white of course is heavier so it's going to sink. I'm hoping if we do just a thin layer on top of each paint color we can manage not to make the white sink. Oh, let's do some mm, some of this uh, green yellow. And the colors are the same colors I used in the last video, so I'm not going to tell you what they are, although I probably will, um, but I will list them below. But you know, even if you guys use the same colors that I'm using, it's not going to turn out the same. So use your creative imaginations and pick your own colors. That way, you know, I don't know. I just feel like you should be using your brains, your creative brains to pick your own colors. The whole point of this is to get a mostly white with some cells, but I imagine this, the white is going to be mixing a lot with these colors. So I kind of lost track of what colors we're doing, so hopefully we're getting them all in there. And again, this is a, another 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. For those of you who wanted me to do something bigger, I'm doing something bigger. It's not that I haven't done big canvases before, it's just I love those little 8 inch canvases. They're so fun to pour on, plus I can do like 3 or 4 of them at one time on the table and they won't bump into each other. I've tried doing this before, but I was never successful because I would always forget. <laughs> I'd, I'd pour a color in there, pour the white on there, then I'd pour another color in there, and then I'd pour another color in there, and it just sort of messed up my whole little experiment there, so I had to kind of give up on that one. And I don't, like I said, I'm kind of lost on the colors here. I hope we're getting them all in there. Hopefully we're not missing any. We're almost out of white, so hopefully we've got all the colors. There we go. I think that is all the colors. I think. But there's no way to tell because everything is white around the outside of the cup. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Did we use the pale blue? I don't know. I think we did. I don't know if we use this color or not. We're going to put a little bit more in there anyway. Just because I like it. Any 
other colors. Okay, I think it's, it's kind of going to be stretching it. So I, I want to put a little more color in there just because we want to make sure it covers the whole canvas. Okay, that's going to be it. That should be plenty. We're probably going to need a corner catcher. So let me grab one of those without dumping my corner catcher into the other painting there. Okay. I have leveled out my canvas. I've got staples in the corners that I put, I put these staples in. I folded under the canvas first and then stapled them down, hammered the staples in there. And then I put push pins in. And these two push pins are pulled out a little bit because that side of the table is lower. You can see where some of the color sank through that white because there was a lot of distance and the kind of the gravity kind of pulled it down. So you want to let it sit for just a minute. And while we're letting this sit, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you to all my sponsors and my subscribers. Anyone who's donated to my channel, thank you so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. And those who have bought my paintings or jewelry or tiles, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please hit the little subscriber, hit the little bell, so you can be notified when we... Um, put up a, a cool video and um, share my videos and if you guys would watch the um, watch the ads that is the way I get some ad revenue and little by little penny by penny that is what's gonna pay for our house um, so hopefully we don't lose our, our house so um, working hard to get to get enough money to pay for our house so every little penny that y'all donate to my channel through purchasing my paintings and um, you know stuff like that and watching the ads every little bit helps okay let's see what we've got going on here wow that was not expected I really expected way more white I hate that I hate it when the cup like it drips from somewhere else and it kind of drags through there but it's actually kind of twisted so it's kind of neat looking we got really a galaxy feel going on here. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna torch it. I'm gonna let those cells come up before we move it. You can see these these cells over here. They're real, they're like ghost cells because they're they're white, but they have a hint of color to them. We're popping a lot of bubbles, so that's where we're getting all these teeny tiny cells. Interesting. Everything is all pastel y. Okay. Ooh, this is a flimsy side catcher. Oh, I really want to save all of that. I really don't want to go over that. So let's put some white down real quick. See if we can help uh, keep some of that from going off. canvas there. I think everything else should be fine to sort of creep over. All right, let's see what magic we can do. Fold this in half here because I want it on that corner. And let's try very hard not to pour it off onto that painting over there. It's 
slowly, slowly, slowly so everything doesn't run over top of itself. Oh, come on, hurry up. It's all going off the edge around the side of the side catcher. I want to stick my arm against it, but then I'll be covered in paint that I'll probably end up dripping somewhere else. Okay, there we go. Now I really would kind of like to save some of that white over there, so I'm going to go this way next. There we go. Let's get it back. That's kind of an interesting corner there. All right, this corner now, this one over here, doing good, not dripping on the other painting, thank goodness. I think you just want to pour that off though. I don't like that. There we go. I don't like that corner there. And now we got to pour off a lot of paint because we have a lot of paint on here. I'm going to do a painting. I think the next painting I'm going to do is it's going to be a painting. Let's see how far we can stretch the cells. Just bring them back a little bit. I'm kind of not liking this white corner now. So I'm going to kind of, and we got a lot of paint on there, so I'm going to kind of pour some of it off. There we go. Bring those babies back. Pour some of them off of that side. There we go. I think that's better. All right, that <laughs> that's cool. I like that. It's pretty. All right. Wipe my hands off real quick. All right, and I am not going to torch this. I'm just going to blow on it a little bit, let the air bubbles come out naturally. Okay, let's get you down. Well, I have to say, these are some pretty gorgeous cells. I like mixing a lot of the white in there. That was a fun experiment. I'm definitely going to do it again. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. All right, we're not going to do anything else to this. I'm going to leave it just like that because it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, yeah, wherever you are on the planet, I hope you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. Thank you to everyone who is a viewer, a subscriber, donating to my channel, purchasing one of my paintings. Or just sending me some love through your emails and messages. I love you all. See you later. Bye.